Honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Mario Zhen from the Hong Kong and China Gas Company, and I'm so glad to be here to present an innovative landfill gas product redesign. Landfill gas is a natural byproduct of the organic material decomposition in landfill. It mainly consists of methane and carbon dioxide, which can be utilized as fuel. Whatever we burn it or emit it into the atmosphere, still, it will cause an environmental impact. As a green company, landfill gas recovery is one of our mission. Landfill gas can be captured, treated, and utilized as a renewable energy source. And in Hong Kong, we have two PFS landfill gas utilization projects, which are called Sunwen and Land. And both landfill gas are being treated and delivered to our gas production plant as fuel via an underground pipeline. But we had a new challenge in Sands Landfill. It locates far away from a gas production plant. And if we join a line, join an underground pipeline between them, the installation cost will be very expensive and not economic. So our innovative team came up with a new idea, is to convert the landfill gas into synthetic natural gas that can be utilized in our gas appliances. Okay. So I did some calculation to verify whether our idea is feasible or not. And let's see what's the difference between tan gas and landfill gas. First, calorific value is the heat energy of a gas during complete combustion. And in Hong Kong, we sell tan gas in terms of CV as a value of 17.27 megajoule per centimeter cube. Okay. And so if we sell synthetic natural gas to our customer, we have better to follow that. Second, specific gravity is the density ratio between air and gas. And if the specific gravity is larger or equal to 1 during gas leakage, the gas will be easily to accumulate at the leaking zone and difficult to disperse out. Then it, it will be increase the risk of fire. So we normally have to control our pilot gas SG below 1. And now we consider that seal for 95 is already good enough. Okay. And you may ask me, can we control the specific gravity of synthetic natural gas has a specific gravity of 0 0.5 to light tank gas. It's very difficult because tank gas has hydrogen there. And hydrogen is very light and makes tank gas has such a low specific gravity. Okay. For the CV control, we can use dilution method. We can dilute the landfill gas by adding non-flammable gas. Okay. And air is the simplest way to do that. But when we mix air into flammable gas, we have to make sure that the gas mixture is not within exposure limit. And flammability port can give us detail. And we can see the landfill gas and synthetic natural gas are outside the combustible zone. But can we say the method is safe? To me, not. When I draw, when I draw a line between the air and landfill gas, parts of the line across the combustible zone. What might happen there? abnormal operation or system failure, like the control valve. Control valve controlling the airflow rate into the landfill gas side open too much because of the valve failure, because of the CV analyzer reading drift. Then excess amount of air inject into the landfill gas side, the gas mixture may get into the combustible zone here. Then it is not safe. Okay. So we decide to use another gas. We use 95% nitrogen with 5% oxygen gas. And this gas has an oxygen concentration lower than the minimum oxygen concentration point, the MOC point. Okay. So that means whatever the landfill gas makes with this nitrogen gas, their gas mixture will not across, will not get into the combustible zone. That is much safer. And this gas can be generated by air separation process very easily, like pressure swing absorption. For SG control, very similarly, we use passive swing absorption to take away the carbon dioxide out from landfill gas. Because carbon dioxide has a specific gravity of 1.52. Taking away the heavy carbon dioxide, then the remaining gas SG will be lighter, lower. Okay. Apart from the CV and SG control, we have to uh, check whether our gas is interchangeable or not in our gas appliances. And in Hong Kong, we use this MCPWI chart to predict 
whether the gas can be burned properly in our gas appliances or not. And if the gas falls into the center pentagon, we will predict the gas can be burned properly. Okay. And let's see whether our gas inside the pentagon. And we can see the maximum combustion potential and also the Wolby index are around 18 or 16 something. Probably it's outside of our pentagon. <laughs> it is not interchangeable with our gas appliances. But can our, uh, does it mean our idea is not feasible? Not really. We still have one method to solve that. We can mix the synthetic natural gas into town gas. And I did some calculation and put this graph. And we can see the pure town gas is here. And after mixing with different mixing ratio of synthetic natural gas, and other those points are showing here. Okay? And after we consume the safety factor, we said the maximum mixing ratio between town gas and synthetic natural gas is 8%. And after those calculations, we did a trial test to see whether any abnormal phenomena. This time, we directly mix the landfill gas into time gas with 8% and 5%. Again, we can see this is quite normal. Yeah. No any abnormal phenomena were observed. So we decided to design and build the processing facility that convert the landfill gas into synthetic natural gas. For the whole process, of course, this includes other units like landfill gas compression and also some pretreatment units like dewatering, desulfurization, and also some impurity removal. And after that, we have SG and CV control there. And we add distinctive smell before the gas and out. Okay. And we issue a tender to those potential suppliers for detailed design and build our processing facility based on this conceptual design based on our conceptual design. Okay. And during the construction and installation period, I was responsible for the site control and monitoring during the work like uh, progress monitoring, work scheduling, safety control, etc. And for the validation, I participate in the testing and commissioning period and perform a lot of tests, including like the pressure test, light pressure, punch list, functional tests, um, etc. Okay. And after the project, I stay in the facility. Okay. I stay in the facility and responsible for operation maintenance work, like doing the quality control, uh, maintenance scheduling, and arrangement. Okay. And this facility is the largest of its kind in Asia. Okay. For the quality control, we have an online analyzer. We have an online CV analyzer to keep checking our CV and also controlling the series of the synthetic natural gas. Okay. Besides, we have uh, we take gas samples to our laboratory for doing gas chromatography GC analysis to knowing the gas composition. Okay. And both results showing that our uh, synthetic natural gas is being well controlled and fulfill our requirement. Okay. This also proven our processing, processing facilities is being well designed. <laughs> And after we generate the synthetic natural gas, we have to mix it with town gas, a large quantity of town gas in order to get it can be used in our appliances. And luckily, we have an off-take station at 12 kilometers away from our sand landfill, okay, which has sufficient town gas flow away. But the problem is the town gas pressure is higher than synthetic natural gas. The upstream of the off-take station is 35 bar town gas. And downstream is seven bar, while our synthetic natural gas has only two. Low pressure gas cannot inject into the high pressure gas. Okay. And if we pressurize the synthetic natural gas, it consumes a lot of electricity. It is not worth to do that. So our innovative team came up with another new idea using ejector. Ejector can utilize the pressure energy of high pressure tank gas and create a suction force to suck the low pressure synthetic natural gas into it and mix it. And this ejector no longer requires electricity. And so it is quite an environmental friendly device to mix the two gases into each other. And this ejector is the largest of its kind in Asia, in the world. Okay. And after the two, two gases mixed into each other, we did another gas appliances test okay, to further verify whether our design 
is correct or not, whether the gas can be burned properly in our gas appliances. And the result is positive. And we can see the gas is was being uh, burned uh, properly and without any film lift, without any abnormal phenomenon. Okay. So it also proven our design is correct. Okay. To conclude, innovation to me may not be something very difficult or complicated. In our case, it comes from a simple idea. We want to sell the landfill gas product in our, we want to utilize this landfill gas product in our gas appliances. Okay. Then we did some calculation, we did trial tests, and then we uh, decided to build the whole processing facilities and also ejector. And then finally, we test the gas in our um, gas appliances test and pass it. Okay. So I believe and I hope uh, this project can be used as a role model and to demonstrate of utilized landfill gas utilization in a flexible way. And also, probably can be applied in other cities, especially for those cities still using tank gas or CC gas that consists of hydrogen. Okay. So I last, I hope uh, we can reduce more, reduce carbon emission, recover more landfill gas, and contribute more to our society and environment. Thank you so much. Who wants to go first? If you wish. A question? Yeah, okay. Um, thank you for your presentation. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just interested in what um, you think a summary of the overall environmental impact of this project will be. Okay. Firstly, originally, the landfill gas is being flared. Then it will emit a lot of carbon dioxide that obviously is uh, greenhouse gas. Okay. And after this project, the landfill gas no longer being flared no longer being waste. And after the conversion into the synthetic natural gas, that can be utilized in our gas appliances. Probably is the kind of energy recovery and also reduce the greenhouse gas emission. Okay. You, thank you. Um, you mentioned testing of yep. um, the mixtures. Was that, no, did any elements of that happen in customers' premises? Were you testing on actual appliances that customers are using, or was it laboratory testing? Actually, it's test in the, in the off-tech station. We tie, uh, we tee off um, parts of the gas after the gas mixing to, to those gas appliances that we prepare for testing. We normally, we test eight different uh, kinds of gas appliances, and here I'm only showing four of it because because of the size problem, okay? And yeah, so <coughs> because after the off station, our gas network would be, uh, would be more, I would like to say, the percentage of synthetic natural gas would be dropped because we ha have other off station and the gas will be connected into each other. So if the off station, if the, the gas at off station pass the gas appliances test. We are very confident that we can pass uh, uh, the the customer using our synthetic natural gas. There's no problem. Okay. Is there an, a possibility that customers' appliances are not as well adjusted as those you're testing in in the um, in, at the offtake stage? Okay. We we cannot yeah. find any uh, customers complaining of that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we believe. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine, okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> one of the problems with um, landfill gas is it's quite variable in quality and volume. You mean, what's the problem of landfill Well, gas? yeah, I, so I'm amazed that you've got just a single quality. You know, my experience of landfill oh, is... Uh, it's a range. It's uh, quite yeah. a big range, and yes. the volumes are very inconsistent. Yes. So, how, how do you deal with that? So that means we have, you mean, firstly, the landfill gas composition is not a fixed figure. Yeah. There may be a range of different methane concentrations. And this is a little bit like, not a red worst case, it's our average range. Yeah. Yeah. And because we can see our calorific value of tank gas is 17.27, and that means we have to control the stress the calorific value of synthetic natural gas equal to that. And we, we can see there is a gap between the landfill gas and current gas. We, we can um, 
because we are talking about reduce the calorific rate of blend meal gas. So, so we still can fulfill that. And the second thing I want to point out that you may think of if, what if the calorific rate value of blend meal gas lower than 17.27, what happened to us? Then can the processing facility cannot generate synthetic natural gas? They have no problem because we have processing absorption. Yeah. Yeah, here, actually we have passive swing absorption. We can take away part of the carbon dioxide out to increase the calorific value. So this unit can be added as both, both functions. We can reduce the specific quality and also to increase the calorific value also. Okay. Okay. Could you give us a bit more information about how long the project's taken to construct and what sort of cost to develop this and is it cost effective overall? Um, as we know, green projects are uh, not talking about financially attractive, but because <laughs> hey, I originally have some backup slide for the financial analysis, like I, I will really talk about that. The payback year is around for design X years for the payback, okay. But it depends on the larva price. Why it depends on larva price? Because uh, when we generate synthetic natural gas, we are not talking about selling more gas to our customer. We are saving the time gas. Okay. And time gas in Hong Kong is generated by, uh, the raw material of time gas is NAFA and also natural gas. Okay. And the natural gas, the amount of natural gas is fixed because we sign a contract to our, our suppliers. So the NAFA like a supplement. Okay. And for the NAFA price, it would much uh, affect our, uh, our financial figures. So originally we decided at 60 US dollar per barry, but, uh, but now it's quite similar to this figure. So it's around eight years payback. But um, this is talking about the full capacity. But of course, the landfill gas probably is decayed, always reduced year by year. So the financial figures uh, would be much uh, worse than a year payback. Okay. Thank you. We got no more? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you.